take it back. I can take the piece of rope out here. 
several days since the last time I filmed anything because I get sidetracked with YouTube and sailing videos. So many people to watch videos. 
exactly straight and well that's five eighths and I needed a half inch so that's a perfect size and I don't want to screw up the roundness on it it don't quite fit so I'm taking this in a vise bending it out and then bending these curves back straight and it's on there it ain't going anywhere I just have to bend this out a little bit, but I think after tinkering with this one, I've got the technique down, so this one won't take an hour like the last one. I'll have this one bent. Uh, if I really wanted to work hard, I could probably just bend it over and then tap it in place with a hammer, but I'll go ahead and do that. Anyways, that's where I'm at. I've got everything I need to fill up the holes. And I'll do some repair work on that. And I even, while I was at the Lowe's buying these, I also bought a bunch of more cheap dollar chip brushes and another quart of, uh, I thought their paint was like 20 something dollars a quart, but it's only 10. So I bought another quart of the red paint so I'll be able to paint this the same color as the previous one why it doesn't make any difference I could just slather it with spar varnish and it would work but uh, we'll try and make it look the way it was but I think once I get these on here and I get my pen put in to hold the rudder up because it does it does swing all the way up yeah I've got everything too tight right now so it doesn't flop around but it does swing up and I can just put a pin in it my same pin that I got for the dagger board that I never used because it's I cut the slot on the dagger board tight enough that it stays down in the hole all by itself and except once when I hit an alligator it popped up a few inches but anyways making progress nothing but rain for the next three days so I've got sailing on YouTube to keep me entertained and all the parts I need and I'll do this plus I may even get the laundry done so there we have it a couple more days of procrastination and I'll be fine well it didn't take near as long with the second one because I was expert by the time I did the first one but this damn thing is exactly what I wanted. These ain't coming loose. They're not going to get bent. I think on the next go around, I'll probably just break the rudder off if that ever happens. But what I'm going to do is I loosened it up some, so it's trying to fall. I'm going to drill a pin right through there it's the same pin I had for the dagger board which is this so that'll go right through that and I'll have this attached to a piece of line that goes to one of these things here sort of like this it's just a tied off to one of the cleats and then the rudder will never fall down again while I'm backing down. This is not going to come loose. That's uh, two three eighths inch pieces of plywood plus another inch of pine in between the spacers. And I mean these could come off but if that comes off the ass end of the boat's going to come off too so I think this is probably the strongest rudder I've built up to this point and the part that I like the best is now the tiller doesn't come up like this it's almost parallel with the deck so 
I'm raising that up compared to what it was with the original designs I mean I won't I won't drive down the road with the rotor attached but it's simple enough to put in there I still have to attach the rope so that I can pull it up actually it just pulls the rudder down straight when the boat's in the water and then I hook it into this ass backwards jam cleat so normally you'd have the rope go through this way and come out here and when you put it down the little teeth bite into it to keep it from pulling back out but I put it backwards so the teeth provide some traction on it but if something pulls on the rudder like it wants to kick up it just slides out and it works great I never had any trouble with it using it before and it was better than tying it off to the tiller or whatever this way I know it will slip if I hit something before in the plans they've got an eye bolt here where you tie it off to that and I didn't ever like that because you always had a hunk of metal there that was in the way and now that I'm almost done with the rudder I got one more hole to drill put the line back in to pull the rudder down now I'm thinking <coughs> one of the things I dislike about this kind of lateen sail is that when the mast is in there's a line that goes through here that holds the bottom the boom part of the sail up against the mast and it just kind of swings on that and a piece of rope works great I just put it in there and put a I use a square knot and it comes undone easy and uh, it doesn't have to be super tight, doesn't have to hold, it just has to keep the boom in up against the mast. But when you lower the sails, say the wind dies, you want to fish, you want to do that, everything comes down on the deck and you lose half the boat because all you got left is what's over there. So I was thinking, I've seen on larger boats, they have a big thing that comes up over the transom. Then they mount solar panels and stuff on. Well, I don't want any of that because I mount my tiller here when the rudder's down. So I need the, the trolling motor handle to be able to swing. And it extends out to about here. So I'd have to put something up this far up. <coughs> and I don't want to do that. It wouldn't affect the, the rudder any because this is going to swing all the way both ways anyways but then I was thinking of drilling more holes in the boat and mounting more stuff I got these holes right here for the oil locks all I need to do is come up with PVC or something that will fit down these are plastic bushings I'm not going to take these apart but I could get PVC with a dowel rod or something that fits down in these things and then just curves over to the other side so it can be taken off and st stuck in here up this foredeck area other than using it to get on and off the boat it's not good for much this design would have actually been better if these bulkheads had been designed so that they were wide open I mean you might as well close them off completely and make them watertight as flotation or I did it like the plans and so they're just little cubby holes you keep a bottle of water in there uh, I keep my VHF in there and they could have done a if I were to rebuild this boat which I'm not gonna uh, this is more or less a learning what don't I like what do I like but you can stick stuff up in there but once it gets about 18 inches in you've got another three feet of boat that's worthless and there was no nothing in the plans about putting a hatch up in here although I have thought about it I mean it doesn't have to be watertight it could this is something with hinges on it with a some kind of a seal to 
Well, I guess you can flip this boat, although it's the geometry of the boat, you're going to have to have some help with wind and waves to do it. I've had the waves up to here. I've had, had this down in the water. But even with the gunnels down in the water, and the water was about here, my first time of doing it, and I did it four times in a row, and I said, the heck with this, it's too windy for me to sail. But the boat's still at an angle like this. I mean, that was one of the problems with putting it together was standing it on its side and propping it up while I glued and screwed the sides in. So I think I'm going to think, I'm going to ponder on a way to put some kind of a PVC thing that I can take out and store up on the foredeck that goes across here. So when I lower the top half of the Latin sail comes down on top of the boom then I'll just have some bungees or a piece of line and tie it all together but the sail will be sitting up this high off the deck because <coughs> I mean if you lose the motor and everything else you still got oars but without the sail with the sail in the way you got to straddle the thing to be able to row so anyways because this is not the full length of the sail there's, a, there's another attachment on here that comes out here this is like 12 feet this way the boom is 12 feet and the, the spar is 10 so and it's a real honest to god dacron sail fart and you can get the boat moving okay that's it that's all the progress I'm gonna make today on the rotor because now I have to do laundry I'm down to reusing socks and that is not going anywhere I pleased if I hadn't been a high price computer consultant I might have gone into boat building for a living <laughs> joke there folks it's a joke all right, more later. Okay, here's my idea for when I backing down the ramp with the rudder installed. That'll go through. I'll tie that off, pull it out, and I can put the... I think it'll do just fine. Okay.